Hello friends, welcome to Tech Geek. This is Normal here, and in this video, we'll do a detailed FAQ on the Poco X2. So, Poco X2 is the latest smartphone from Poco after launching Poco F1 back in 2018. So, now the Poco X2 comes with a, a different set of hardware. It's not a flagship category hardware, but it's kind of different series. The X series is a different series. That's what the company claims. Now, this is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G processor. It has 120 Hz refresh rate. and uh, a lot of things are included here so in this video we'll do a detailed faq covering all the aspects of this device so we have the poco x2 with us it is the 8 gigabyte ram variant which are, which we have and we're going to do a detailed faq covering all the aspects so let's first get started so first step let's have a look at the sensors available on this device so we have installed the sensors app so we'll just uh, show you the sensors app so there you go you can see that uh, it comes with all the basic sensor uh, gyroscope uh, magnetic sensor light proximity and uh, all the basic sensors are included on this device now talking about the display so display is definitely one of the important aspects about the poco x2 now the display is an ips lcd panel it's not a super amoled panel like uh, some of the smartphones in this price segment now here the difference is that uh, you get uh, a 120 hertz refresh rate so if you go to the display settings you have the option to select the refresh rate so basically you have 120 hertz and 60 hertz So generally, all the smartphones in this price segment comes with a 60 hertz refresh rate. Now we have a 120 hertz refresh rate. So this is something which is imp improved, and this actually gives a better experience overall on the display. So display quality is definitely good on the Poco X2. Now moving on to the SIM cards. So this device has uh, two SIM card slots. There is no dedicated SD card slot, so you have to compromise on one SIM card in case you are using a micro SD card. So this is a hybrid slot on the Poco X2. Now talking about the Gorilla Glass protection. So this device has uh, Gorilla Glass protection on the display, so it is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Now talking about the storage available and the SD card support, as this device has SD card support, but as I said before, it's a hybrid SIM card slot, so you can use either SD card and SIM card or two SIM cards. Now the storage options are 64 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte, and 256 gigabyte. Uh, with a uh, 6 gigabyte ram and 8 gigabyte ro uh, ro ram being offered now next the processor so this device has a qualcomm snapdragon uh, processor which is really smooth uh, and efficient processor so no major issues here we have been using this device for quite some time and it's extremely smooth experience no lags whatsoever and the snapdragon 730g is capable of handling all the tasks it was put to now if you're looking for gaming experience we have done a detailed gaming video Uh, the gaming experience is also really good there is also liquid cooling technology which helps in reducing the heat uh, and uh, the heating was really controlled on this device and if you want to have a detailed look at the gaming aspects we have a video on our channel now software so this device runs on the miui for poco so if you look at the about phone you can see that this runs on uh, poco uh, the miui 11 and we have android 10 out of the box so it it gets you all the features uh, you require on the miui you can see that there are additional options special features including game turbo quick uh, replies second space and if you go to the additional settings you also get uh, the quick ball one handed mode support for theme so whole lot of options are included and this runs on android 10 out of the box Now talking about the battery. So the phone has 4500 mAh capacity battery and there is also fast charging. So it's a 27 watt fast charging and we have done a detailed video on the charging test so it took around 74 minutes to charge from 0 to 100% using the default 27 watt fast charger and the battery performance is also stellar. The screen on time we got was around 7 hours uh, with the 120 hertz refresh rate turned on and if you go with the 60 hertz you might get slightly better battery life. Now LED notification. So that's one thing which a lot of people ask whether there is an LED notification. So we are just connecting this device to a charger. So you can see that there is no LED notification on this device. So that's one feature which is missing on the Poco X2. Now talking about the USB OTG support, this is this device has USB OTG functionality, and uh, you can just uh, connect any USB pen drives uh, to this device and uh, access it from the file manager. Now one of the important things uh, recently announced is uh, voice over Wi-Fi that's VO Wi-Fi so this device does have VO Wi-Fi support so we have been using Jio SIM card and uh, we do get uh, the option to have the voice over Wi-Fi you can go to the settings and enable it in case you are not uh, seeing it there is an option to enable it 
Now talking about the camera. So this has a quad rear camera. So uh, we have done a detailed camera review of this device and uh, we found the camera to be really good. Here are some uh, sample shots we have taken with uh, the Poco X2. So overall the Poco X2 is a Stella camera. Probably one of the best in the sub 20k price segment. So if you want the more details on the camera, do have a look at uh, the, some of the uh, camera samples we have taken and also the camera review we have posted. Now the camera to API. So this is one thing which a lot of users are looking at whether there is a camera to API support. That means whether you can install a Gcam APKs. So you can see that hardware level support is uh, level 3. That means uh, camera to API is supported and uh, you can uh, install any Gcam. We'll also be doing a video separately on the Gcam support and how to use it and uh, 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 how, which uh, build is better. Now next, uh, Widevine L1 support. So uh, if you look at uh, the uh, app, uh, you can see that there is Widevine L1 support uh, on this device. So that's the security level. Widevine L1 is supported on the Poco X2. Now talking about uh, the fingerprint scanner and face unlock. So the fingerprint scanner is uh, located on the uh, right side. Uh, it's integrated with a power button and we have done a detailed video on the performance. So we'll just quickly demo. It's extremely fast uh, fingerprint scanner and we'll also show you uh, the face unlock performance. So there you go. So it's pretty fast uh, face unlock as well. Now talking about the availability, so this device is uh, available in three colors and three variants, 6 GB RAM, 8 GB RAM, 64, 128 and 256 GB storage being offered and this will be available exclusively on Flipkart starting Feb 11th. So that's the day when uh, this will be available on uh, uh, Flipkart and uh, a lot of you have asked us whether uh, who will be handling the service and support for Poco devices going forward. So all the services will be done by uh, Xiaomi service center. So you don't have to worry about service as of now. So if you have an issue with the Poco X2, you can head over to the Xiaomi service center and they will be able to help you with the service. So that was the uh, detailed FAQ on the POCO X2. Hope uh, we have answered all your questions and queries. If you still have, drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your questions. So this is Norma signing off uh, with the detailed FAQ on the POCO X2. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.